Today we're gonna hop into North County San Diego, a little section of San Diego, you guessed it, in the northern part of San Diego County. Let you know where it is, what it's all about, a little bit of geography, what to do here, what we're known for, kind of the housing. We're getting into a lot today. So we're gonna explain everything you need to know about North County. So if you are thinking about moving out here, you will have a good idea of what to expect when you get out here, what city in North County, which is made up of a bunch of different cities, might work for you. A lot of it's gonna come down to pricing, so we'll get a little bit into that, how the pricing works, the weather, all kinds of fun in this one. Hello, hello, I'm Cassidy Lewis. And I'm Chris Erickson. And we are both real estate agents here in North County, San Diego. And this is where you come for all things North County. So if this is your first time on our channel, hit that subscribe button because we're dropping new videos every single week on everything and anything you need to know about North County. And if you are thinking about moving out this way, definitely get in touch with us, book your discovery call with us with that information that's popping up right there. We love helping people move to our little neck of the woods here in North County. All right, first thing is gonna be, first off, where is North County? So if you're looking at a map, there's different renditions of where North County is. Where, where is it? We were just talking. I'd say Delmore North. Yeah. A lot of people have it, 56 North. Yeah, yeah, so 56 corridors like Carmel Valley, on the kind of 15 corridor, you have like Rancho Bernardo, Rancho Penasquitos over there. As a whole, we kind of, let's put a little box, just we're gonna go from 56 freeway, going north all the way to Camp Pendleton, east to west, we kind of cut it off right around that 15 corridor, so like Escondido and stuff. There is technically more of North County like out to the east, but we're just keeping it in this box, to keep it simple. So includes all the cities starting from Del Mar going north, you have Solana Beach, Encinitas, Carlsbad, Oceanside in the central parts, Vista, San Marcos, you have Escondido, you have Rancho Santa Fe, you have a bunch of different neighborhoods that make up North County as a whole. So whatever you're looking for, there's a ton of different little spots that you could check out that might work for you. Next up is probably the most important and that's where to live. Obviously, like Chris mentioned, there's a ton of different cities here in North County, San Diego. Just kind of as a overview of all of them, if you're looking for kind of that high end, higher price point, larger lots, larger houses, you're gonna be looking in Del Mar, Solana Beach, Ranch Santa Fe, Cardiff by the Sea, and then big portions of Encinitas and Carlsbad as well. But Encinitas, as you kind of go north, has a little bit more options when it comes to housing. You've got high end, like on the bluff, like some of the most expensive houses in North County are on the Bluff and Encinitas. But then you got townhomes, you've got condos, you got a little bit more affordable. And then as you go up into Carlsbad, it's even a bigger diversity in pricing. You've got very attainable starter homes in Carlsbad, condos, kind of that uh, traditional like single story condos. And then you've got all the way up to high-end beach houses right on the sand um, in kind of the northwest portion of Carlsbad. And a lot of it where you're gonna end up is gonna come down to that pricing. Typically, as you start from the south from that Del Mar area and go north, it's gonna get a little more affordable as you're going. So Del Mar's most expensive, Oceanside's gonna be the most affordable. And then it kind of pushes that same way inland. Coastal is gonna be most expensive. As you go inland, it's gonna get a little more affordable. There's some outliers like Rancho Santa Fe is one of the most expensive spots here in North County, San Diego. And that's because you have these huge lots, a lot of land, big houses. It's kind of cool, you can look on a map, let's just put it at like that medium price point right here in North County, like 950. If you put it into your search tool, you'll see a clear divide of where that, you know, it kind of goes down like, there's gonna be a few popping up in Oceanside, uh, maybe one or two in Carlsbad, and then it just kind of arcs around. You can see like a pretty clear line of single family homes, what you get for that 950. And then just to get back to some of the other towns that you might be looking at, cities that you might be looking at, Oceanside is a, a really big city. Just looking at a map, it's a big, takes up a lot of room. So you do have that coastal section of Oceanside, which is gonna be the kind of the more expensive portion of Oceanside. But then there are a ton of options as you go east and even a little bit kind of in the northeast also, where you can get into a starter detached house for a pretty affordable price point when you're looking at North County as a whole. And then as you go east, like Chris mentioned, Vista is a, is a good option with some aff good affordability for detached houses. They also, also some townhomes and condos. And then San Marcos and Escondido have a pretty big range of pricing. There's definitely a lot of affordable options, but then there are some definitely some higher end areas. San Alejo Hills has got some really high end homes that have killer views. Escondido has some really cool custom houses that are gonna be on that higher price point side of Escondido. So a lot of options if you're looking high end or kind of that starter price point, these areas are gonna have a lot of options for you. And if you guys are looking at a specific city, go into our channel and check out different playlists, different cities, explore those a little more in depth where you, we have the map styles and we have the vlog styles so you could actually see these specific neighborhoods uh, and get a little bit more information on each one. Hopping into the geography a little bit, as you're starting at the beaches, 
a lot of the beaches are lined by bluffs. So you'll find some beaches in Carlsbad and Oceanside, the harbor up there where nice big flat and open, but as you go south a little bit, Solana Beach, Encinitas, parts of Carlsbad, you do have these big bluffs, so the actual beach is pretty small. As you go inland, you're starting to get into these rolling hills. So if you're a runner, a biker, hiker, any of that kind of stuff, be ready for some ups and downs. Like I like to run around my neighborhood and it's just nothing flat, especially like a lot of bikers, you're going longer distances and there's some big hills out there. So if you're looking for views, North County has a lot of those options. A lot of the houses are built on hills. So as you're going up, obviously the higher up you get, you have these nice views. San Alejo has a ton. Carlsbad has different sections that have a bunch, uh, depending on where you are in Encinitas. But there are also some mountains. Um, I'd say Double Peak in San Marcos is, is a mountain versus a hill. Um, it's debatable. It's debatable. I don't know what, a mount, where, <laughs> what elevation a mountain starts at, but it's pretty big. It's pretty big. But then also if you want access, if you're into camping, if you're into hiking, just going out a little further east, there are a ton of mountain options. Um, even kind of to the north and the south, there's some options for mountains too. So, you know, San Diego used to be a desert. So that kind of arid climate is pretty easy to get to pretty quick. It's like a two hour drive to kind of Imperial Valley, which is all desert. Palm Desert's a little bit north of that. Palm Springs, all those spots. So if you're looking to get into kind of, kind of those hot, temperature spots, play in the pool a little, or go out golfing or whatever, those are accessible too. And one thing that we're missing here, depending on where you're coming from, we don't have a ton of water. So obviously the ocean, and we have a few lagoons, some you can like bring a paddleboard in, but most of them are just closed down, you can't use them. We do have a few lakes, Lake San Marcos man-made, Lake Hodges man-made, all the, all the lakes are man-made around here. So you also can't go in those. You can't go in those either. So if you're like fishing and you, you know, that's kind of your style, San Diego and North County is probably not ideal. If you are into fishing, but it's a little bit more of that deep sea style, um, there's a ton of options for that. Obviously you got Oceanside Harbor, you got downtown. Um, there's a lot of charters and stuff that go out of those spots. So obviously San Diego, North County, San Diego as a whole, weather is phenomenal. That's why we love living here. Um, We've had a lot of rain this year. This yes, year has been, been a rainy year, but it's been now it's gorgeous out. Yeah. So we, we, and we get used to not having weather too. Yeah. So, I mean, we had, this is beginning of or April, 2023. We've had more rain this year than we had the two previous years, maybe three previous mm -hmm. years. For the most part, it's sunny. There are, you know, those kind of the geography of the coastal versus inland. You're definitely going to get lower temperatures coastal. Um, you get some, definitely get some fog in parts of the year um, that either will burn off midway through the day or will stick around if it's just kind of that, you know, we talk about June gloom. It tends to be a pretty foggy month or two, uh, but then as it doesn't take much. You go a little further inland, uh, San Marcos, Vista, Escondido. It's sunny pretty much year round. Uh, we get a little overcast, but then that burns off pretty quick. As you go east, the weather tends to be warmer. So hopping in things to do now, we have kids. So a lot of the things that we do is based around kids, sports, all that kind of stuff. That takes up, I mean, Coach Cassidy here. <laughs> How long does sports take up for you? At least six days a week. <laughs> yeah, he's got soccer and baseball overlapping. A lot of people do dual sports because they're overlapping. You could enjoy back to the weather, mm -hmm. except this year it got rained out a few times. But for the most part, you can enjoy it year round where you know go play soccer one day you got baseball on the weekends and stay busy with that what other sports are big here lacrosse is huge yeah. um obviously still some of those kind of st standard sports friday night lights is kind of i don't know if that's across the country but flag football has become huge here in north county san diego softball is pretty big yep. also water polo seems like it's growing a little bit here mm -hmm. so there's plenty of sports another thing to do that we really enjoy is going to the breweries since we do have so many breweries right here in san diego you could have endless options we usually have our few that we you know pick and choose mm -hmm. that we go to because we know well we know the people there we know the beer is going to be good there so and some of these breweries too are great for if you got your kids, bring them in there. They got little sections, you know, maybe a little game section or something to keep them entertained. So they're not really set up for kids, but in most of them, kids are welcome in all the breweries here too. There's also a few spots around town where they does, it's kind of, it's not really a brewery, but a more restaurant style. So like My Yard Live, I think San Marcos has like some of the most. Yeah. You got My Yard Live in San Marcos, you got Draft Republic in San Marcos where they have kind of that, you know, restaurant really good beer, really good local beer, but they also have like kids areas and stuff to keep them entertained as well. So every little city will have a few of those little spots where you can go check out too. Pizza Port is also is another one. There's a couple of different locations in North County, uh, but that's like one of the spots that our kids ask for 
all the time just because they have a few little games, but then they got great beer, they have great pizza, so uh, definitely one to check out. Yeah, and with all of the things to do, I think a lot of it kind of revolves around being outside, doing things outside, just playing outside, you know, hitting up green belts, parks, all that kind of stuff. We have, do have some hiking around North County, San Diego. I'll say Carlsbad probably has the best. It's not these long hikes, it's kind of like uh, suburban hiking, if you will, but little trailheads everywhere. You get out, stretch your legs. There is some nature preserves here and there too. So there is a lot of things to do. It's not just going to the beach every day. A lot of people don't go to the beach ever. And there's great parks too. Chris touched on kind of the sports and stuff, but there's also uh, Carlsbad specifically has amazing parks. Encinitas has got some great ones. San Marcos, when they're open, has some great mm -hmm. ones. Uh, so if you're looking for parks just to be able to either go play catch or go to playground, there's a ton of options. Next on the list, super important if you got kids, is schools. San Diego as a whole has really good school districts. North County, there are a ton of them, so it takes a bunch of researching because a lot of the cities like Carlsbad, Encinitas, Oceanside, San Marcos, Vista, they have their own school districts, and then some kind of overlap. So uh, there's definitely a ton of research to do if you're looking for specific schools or specific districts. Um, and there's a ton of information, just go you know to the district websites and it'll kind of show you where you're gonna be like with the maps and everything. The complicated one, the complicated area is gonna be Carlsbad the 92009 zip code, it feeds into three school districts. Four, really, because San Aguido. Yeah, and there's some, even some sections like Solana Beach that are Solana Beach School District, but they're in 92130, which is like that Carmel Valley section, like Del Mar Heights. So it really depends the boundary lines. If you go on like the websites, look up boundary maps, and a lot of them will have it. So it's very visual and it kind of has it highlighted. You can separate it into elementary, middle, high school, all that kind of stuff. Like I said, public schools are great here in San Diego, but if you are thinking about either par uh, private or charter schools, there are some of those options kind of throughout North County. Um, so that's definitely an option as well. And the charter schools are actually public schools, open to everybody. You just have to go through the application process. So now hopping into what's nearby, we've kind of covered it a little bit with the deserts being out to the east. You do have like the mountains, Palomar Mountain, if you want to go to Big Bear, it's a little bit further. You go from the mountains to the beach in the same day, even through the desert if you want. So there's all kinds of different areas around, but just kind of hopping around just to the north, you're gonna hit, hit up like Southern Orange County if you kind of just wanna do a little staycation up there, more or less staycation, it's probably like 45 minutes to an hour from North County, but Dana Point's right up there, nice little city, and then you have like Laguna Beach, and then you have like kind of all those little Orange County cities if you do just wanna explore there. Just to the south is the city of San Diego, so a lot of people in North County, we kind of stick in our North County bubble, you go to the parks here, do all the activities here. Sometimes you might venture down to the downtown area, see Port Village is down there. You got Coronado, another great place for a staycation to explore, so, if you're living in North County, there's a lot of spots where you can just cruise around for a quick little weekend trip where you're still within an hour or so of San Diego. One of the other spots that might be worth checking out too is Temecula. It's only from most of North County, is only about 45 minutes to an hour. Great wine country, um, not quite Napa, but definitely really cool. In the Southern South California, Napa. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but there are a ton of really cool wineries to check out there. And then the San Diego airport, even though it is super small, just one runway I've been to, I thought that's how all airports were and then you fly into different ones that are huge and you're taxiing for like, I don't know, it seems like an hour to get to, <laughs> to the gates, it seems so long. San Diego is super easy, fly, boom, you're there, you're like at your terminal pretty darn quick. But San Diego, even though it is super small, we do fly to a lot of spots. So you could hit up a lot of different areas. There's probably more direct flights from like LAX or something for bigger trips, but there's a lot of places you can hit to from the San Diego airport. And most people don't think about it, but Carlsbad also has an airport, um, which is for smaller flights, smaller planes and stuff, but there are some really cool destinations that you can hit from there. Um, you can get to Mammoth pretty affordably. Instead of driving five or six hours, you can fly up in, in a short period of time. So Carlsbad is also an option. And a lot of folks actually go up to Orange County to fly to some spots too. So uh, that's an, an option as well. Next on the list is getting around. North County, San Diego is definitely a spot where you want a car. Um, Chris mentioned the hills. I mean, the hills alone are a reason to have a car, but um, <laughs> there is a little bit of public transportation. There is the Sprinter that runs kind of east to west and west to east um, in San Marcos, Vista, Escondido, um, Oceanside. And then kind of right on the coast going uh, north south is the coaster. So if you're trying to get up to Anaheim or if you're trying to get to downtown, we use the coaster a lot for baseball games. So like going down to Petco Park, we'll jump on the train, makes it super easy, it puts you right down there. And then there's a trolley system down in downtown San Diego also, but for the most part, if you're living in North County, you're gonna want a car. One thing that we have seen a lot of uh, recently, 
a lot of kids are cruising around is the e-bike. So I've seen a lot of those as a way to get around. People, little you know, kids riding at school, adults going to the beach, throw your surfboard on there. So that is a, a mode of transportation as a lot of cities are trying to improve kind of the bike lanes and make this type of travel a little bit easier, a little bit safer. The e-bikes have been coming up over the last few years. So you will see a lot of that around town. Now what's North County San Diego known for? If you think about moving here, a lot of it is to do with the vibe. We've already mentioned the outdoors, all the stuff you can do outside throughout the year from little hiking trails. Even if you go a little bit further east into like Poway and stuff, there's a bunch more trails out there, just some open space to cruise around to. Potato Chip Rock is one of the biggest ones you'll see. So uh, if you're kind of searching for trails online, but a lot of green belts just within neighborhoods, you know, a lot of those kind of hangs, just a lot of hanging at your house too. Like if you have a pool in your backyard or just barbecue and have family over, that's like, that's like a lot of what I think we're known for here in San Diego. While we do have all this stuff to cruise around, there's plenty of good spots to eat. I was just out at downtown Encinitas on, I think it was like a Tuesday or something, and it was popping. So there's a lot of energy going on down there during the day, kind of get sleepy at night, but just enjoying the outdoors that we do have here in North County, San Diego in a variety of different ways. But I would say a lot of it is just kind of at your house, get your house set up to how you like it and enjoy it there. So the other thing is that we're known for, I think is the vibe, which kind of ties into all that. So uh, pretty mellow, pretty sleepy. North County is not the spot for nightlife. Um, like we've mentioned a bunch, breweries are a lot of the spots that we go and grab a beer. Uh, those usually close at eight or nine o'clock at night. Um, and so that's when kind of things kind of shut down. Obviously there are some bars and stuff that stay open later, but uh, for the most part, North County as a whole is gonna be a little bit sleepier than kind of the downtown area. And a lot of the coastal towns will have beach vibes. All of them are gonna be a little bit different from Solana Beach to Oceanside, everything in between. You're gonna find your own little spots and kind of different vibes throughout every little city. Getting into another important thing to think about is cost of living here. You hear kind of all over the place that California is super expensive to live. And a lot of that is housing costs. So that's either whether you're buying a home, your mortgage payment, or renting. Rents are very high here too. Um, so that's the item that you look at first because that's gonna be the biggest portion of your cost of living. Um, some of the other items to think about, gas and electric, uh, water. Since we do have droughts and stuff, water tends to be a little more expensive here. There's also the cost of preschool or daycare. Um, if you do have kids, um, it is expensive. Um, there's Obviously there's different options and um, different ways you can go to make it more affordable. Another thing that's pretty expensive here is gas. So gas here, I think we're sitting like five bucks a gallon or something like that right yep. now. We see a lot of Teslas around, so but then that's gonna come onto your house energy. So if you're charging at your house, a lot of people have solar panels up and that's another cost, initial cost. So cost of living does get quite a bit here in San Diego. A lot of little things you might not think about. Obviously food here is probably comparable to where you are, but we also have a lot of farmer's markets and stuff. If you go there, a lot of stuff is organic, it's local, but it's also more expensive there. Rents are high, especially for, you know, businesses and stuff too, that is gonna add to the cost of going out to eat. So dining has just got, as we've seen over the past few years, everything's going up, but dining going out and about, uh, you know, dinner for two is gonna cost you a pretty penny. And so if you guys are thinking about moving to North County, San Diego, even after you heard out all the cost of livings and a few other cons in there as well, you still wanna get out this way. Be sure to hit us up. We are the Beach Life Group right here in North County, San Diego. Book your discovery call. All that information is below. We got your back when making the move here, North County, San Diego.